well as his manager Joe Royal knows only too well and that successful manager is now waiting to talk to Tony Gubber. Joe Royal. Joe, many congratulations. Everton, bottom of Divi Premier Division when you took over. You've stayed in the Premier Division. Now you've won the Cup. It's a remarkable story. Uh, I think someone's writing a script. I can't believe it. Very proud of all these people here. And the players have been magnificent. Especially my number two, Willie Gonnett, he's the man. I don't think Manchester United themselves would argue that the team that's played best on the day won the Cup. I thought at half-time we, we'd played ever so well. Disappointed we didn't have another goal. Naturally, we sat back a little bit second half. We, tell, we said not to, but they did. And Big Neville's come into his own then. Yeah, we deserved it. Perhaps our name was written on it. Only six defeats in 34 matches since you returned to Goodison after a 20-year absence. Yes, very proud, very pleased. And uh, I'm going to have a good night tonight, Tony. Well done, Joe. Thank you very, Thank much. very much. Alex, obviously, great disappointment in the Manchester United dressing room at the moment. Oh, I think so, yeah. But it's very sad day for us, and sometimes you don't get what you deserve in football, and I thought we deserved better today. Probably the greatest disappointment for you is that the team didn't play terribly well. Well, I do think that uh, probably we'd like a real cutting edge in the first half. I thought we were the only team we wanted to play in the second half. We hammered away at them, never got a break. Neville Sutherland was magnificent in goal, absolutely magnificent. And uh, he's rekindled all his great days today. Which is exactly what you didn't want to see, but when you were on top in the second half, did you have real expectation that you might get an equaliser, might take it into extra time? Well, well Neville's in that kind of form then. He's got to, he's got to be something uh, special to beat him. And, uh, we didn't find that special thing, you know. You weren't at full strength anyway, and when Steve Bruce picked up the injury, it made four positional changes for you in the second half, which must have been difficult to accommodate. Well, I thought we, we I thought Gary Neville did very well going by that. We'd have preferred uh, Noy Keane to have stayed in midfield, certainly. But to give me the proper balance, um, and I wanted Ryan to play through, uh, we, kept, we kept the shape of the, the front line, more or less, with uh, Nicky on the right-hand side, Nicky but and we sharp on the left-hand side. Is, is the dressing room, are they inconsolable at the moment? Yeah, uh, you have to read them. You just have to read them there. Looking back, is there anything you could have done differently at the start of the match? Could you play gigs at the start? Would it have made a difference? Well, whether it lasted a full game, which is always a question. He was a bit unsure yesterday himself, and I had to reassure him this morning that it has to be a sub, and that was taking that decision for him. He didn't want to let us down, it's understandable. Uh, but when he came on, I thought he did very well. In the end, I suppose, it's a season of what might have been for you. You might have been another championship, there may have been another FA Cup, yeah. there might have been a double. Yeah. Looking back, Cantona's situation, was that was that the crucial point? Well, the, the FA, you know, that was it was a bad one for us. Uh, to probably cost us everything, really. But in saying that, the players have really acquitted themselves very well and proud of them. Thanks very much for coming out, Alex. All the best. Yeah. Thank you.